Hi, my name is Donna Johnston and I teach uh, Pre-Alge 7 and Pre-Alge 8 at Islander Middle School. I have been here since 1997. Uh, it was my first job coming out of college and I haven't left. Well, I guess I left for a couple years to have kids, but um, that's about it. Uh, I live in Snoqualmie with my husband. Um, I'm an avid Husky fan and he is a Cougar, um, so November's a little tough. I have a seventh grader here at Islander Middle School uh, and a ninth grader at Mount Si High School. Uh, we're big into sports. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of football um, or wrestling or basketball uh, these days, but I'm hoping in the near future we can um, work on that a little bit more and get back into the swing of things. Uh, let's see, the overview for the year. We have a lot of algebraic topics that we cover uh, because I want to make sure that your student is or your child is fully prepared for algebra next year. So there's going to be a lot of solving algebraic equations and inequalities with fraction integer work um, woven in, um, a lot of order of operation, like a lot of technical little pieces here in the first trimester. Uh, we'll throw in some square roots, cube roots, stuff like that, Pythagorean theorem. Uh, but there's a, just a lot of fun topics. And our emphasis is going to be on the algebraic ones. And we hope to cover as much as we can with the geometric concepts because they are just as important. Um, this year we have a new textbook, it's EdGems. Um, you will have an opportunity in the near future, I hope, um, in getting a hard cover textbook um, to have at home. But if you don't want one and, and you don't need one, it's um, on your child's app, um, iPad uh, under the tab uh, Clever. Uh, right now, in the beginning, we're doing a lot of reviews, so not a lot of those topics are in your textbook. Uh, but once we get into solving algebraic equations, we will pre predominantly be in the textbook. Uh, for um, instructional strategies, uh, I have taught with a flipped classroom for about 10 years now. And so I'm just asking your students to watch my videos and take good notes uh, and make sure that they come to class prepared to work on some problems with me, ask um, questions and make sure that they get the most out of our time together because it is kind of limited this year. Uh, and I really enjoy the flip classroom because you can pause me and rewind me and watch me as many times as you want. So you probably will get used to my voice in your kitchen, your dining room, or uh, as you pass by your child's bedroom throughout the year. Grading. Grading is kind of different this year. Um, it's predominantly um, assessments. Uh, we have a um, couple things that make up assessments that was um, illustrated in the expectation sheet that I sent to you um, before school even started. Uh, assessments take up 75% of your grade, or their, your child's grade, and are comprised of quick checks, which is just like a little tiny quiz just to make sure we're on, the, on track for the week, and then a major test. And usually the major test will be, you know, maybe once a month, um, maybe twice and an occasional big quiz. That's about it for the assessment pieces. The homework pieces, uh, the mainly the homework is stuff that they do on their own, but it's not graded. So watching the videos and taking really good notes is helpful when you take the exit tickets um, and the quick checks. So it's really beneficial if your child slows down and takes the time to take very neat and organized notes. Um, the quick checks are kind of like a little homework check about twice a week, sometimes once, depending on if there's an assessment coming up. And your child has two opportunities to take that um, exit ticket uh, to get you know, perfection or you know, to achieve the highest um, number of points that they can. Uh, and they're usually going to be due on Wednesdays and Friday afternoons by 3.30. So I'm hoping they will have enough time to try it. On the, every exit ticket opens on a Monday at nine, not any time before. Um, and then closes on Wednesdays and Fridays at 3.30. Uh, for communication, what I'm trying to do uh, is make sure that we always um, communicate our, as frequently as possible, uh, especially if you have questions through uh, email. But then also um, I try to, and I'm gonna share my screen here, uh, and I try to get you um, the week at a glance by Friday, if not Saturday, so that you always know what's coming up. And I'll always provide the dates, I'll always provide like if there's a big test, I'll try to put that down here too. And then these are the anticipated key dates and information is just stuff that's going to be due. 
So this is something that has to be done and turned in um, during the week. The quick checks are done uh, or completed during class. So your child just has to be in class and know when it starts and knows, you know, they have to know that it ends at the end of the period and they have to submit it then. But the exit tickets, like I said before, they start at nine o'clock on a Monday. That's when I open up the folders and they have until Wednesday and Friday to complete those. I give you a little snapshot of what we're gonna be working on in the week. And then this is a pacing guide. So before Zoom sessions, though right now you're looking at my advanced seventh grade um, week at a glance. And so I see them Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen between Monday and Tuesday. Um, and then by Thursday, uh, whereas my pre-algebra eights, I see them Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And again, there's a lot of stuff that has to be done before those long um, one hour Zoom sessions. So I'm just trying to, you know, pace it out for them. But the one thing about having um, learning through Zoom is uh, that you can go at your own pace just as long as you get everything accomplished and your questions answered. I will try to get this to you and open up the next week, um, sometime Friday afternoon, if not Saturday, so that your child can get started over the weekend. They don't have to cram everything in, um, you know, Monday through Friday. So just always let me know if there's something going on and we need to make some adjustments. So this is their week at a glance. At the end, I try to give you an idea if there's extra things that need to be included like rulers or calculators or graph paper or something like that. So this is what my goal is, is to make sure that I'm very consistent with this um, and make it easy for you. All right, the next thing that I'd like to share is um, a little bit about um, what our Schoology page looks like which would be this. So when your child clicks on my class, uh, they're gonna look at something like, I should probably go back one screen like this. If they ever forget, um, forget how to get into um, Zoom, they just go to this document, which is the lead um, document in our folder, and they can just click on the link and get into my class. And then as the units progress, I'm always gonna have the most recent unit at the very top. Um, so they know exactly what to click on. Once they get into this unit, then the folder will be, the folders will be set up the same way. You know, videos, that's where you find all the videos. If there's any notes or handouts that I want them to use while they're watching the videos, they'll find them here. Um, there's always additional practice. So there's extra practice with answers and also challenge practice sheets with answers. Assessments, so like their quick checks or quizzes or tests will be found here and only opened um, during our class period because that's when those things will occur. And then I will divide it down by weeks. So like we're in, in week two right now. Um, and so when they click on the week two folder, which is always, always has the date on it, so they know what they're looking at. The week at a glance is here. Uh, and I always have these in order of the worksheets that I want them to work on according to the week at a glance and then the exit ticket for these topics. And then the next half of the week, worksheets and documents that we'll work through, and then the other exit ticket. So it'll be laid out in the same way. So hopefully um, the kids will get used to the system and just know that everything is there. Uh, Skyward will get updated probably by the end of the weekend, because uh, we have a couple things that roll in throughout the week. Um, and so if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, and yeah, that's about it for math. Um, I will have a survey that I will send out to you um, probably the week of releasing, you know, this information for curriculum night. And so please feel free to share things about your child because I'm not with them one-on-one -on -one as much as I'd like to be, but I really like to get to know them so that we make the most of our time. And I just feel like if I know your child then they want to come to class. Um, so just hope that we have a really successful year and we're just going to go with it and make the most of it. So thank you for trusting your child with me and I look forward to working with you this whole year. Bye.